the more the er so wherever you see the word in the idiom the more yeah. the second part has to have the er the, the more, more you, you practice, practice the better you become the better you become right yes. so and now from to this is also a very good tip gmat gives you this idiom when they say from x to y yeah. so x may be two sen uh, two sentence long uh, two lines long sentence there True. so there is a distance between from x and then to y okay so forget about what is written in between okay just look for two first if there is two then read the sentence if there is not two uh, mentioned in the sentence then don't don't read the long sentence so what you're saying is something like i was traveling from argentina where i was enjoying yeah. myself playing with my family blah blah uh, going blah. across this thing and this and that to spain where if I they mention to, to the so forget about uh, uh, yeah. all all the things uh, all those things that are written between uh, from and to yeah so first see the two mm -hmm. if there is to then read those things if there is not then you don't have to read it. so so what you're saying is in gmat what they typically do is they will give a long sentence from and to long sentence from x to y sentence from x to y so this make x sure can be a long sentence yes yeah, so make sure that you you just go and look for Re the two yes first identify two in the sentence absolutely. then read x absolutely understood okay okay so then let's let's go between among and between yes among we use when we refer to more than two things mm -hmm. and between we use when we refer to two, two things yeah so the bride must choose between two gorgeous gowns she just has two mm -hmm. so therefore just between two okay i i, I read this as bride must choose between two gorgeous grooms <laughs> i was wondering what was going on the <laughs> gowns okay wonderful so two gorgeous gowns the bride must choose between two gorgeous gowns so she just has two so mm -hmm. therefore number between okay. the gift is spread evenly among all the thieves it, mm -hmm. it says all so that means more than two so therefore we say among yes so again uh, among is only when you have more than more two. than two and between is two would mean equals to two so you're comparing among is for more than two between is for two. two so let's just go ahead yes. and look at the next slide which is fewer versus less, less yeah. and speak to versus speak with again a very common error right fewer we use fewer when we refer to numbers absolutely that means anything that is countable which we can count we compare it with fewer yeah so fewer is always countable remember this we had fewer choices in delhi mm -hmm. so we get we can count therefore fewer all the set of pairs from yes yeah then less mm -hmm. when we refer to quantity un amount un uncountable quantities yes. so number is countable amount is uncountable absolutely so less is with amount fewer is with number so fewer less will be for uncountable uncountable perfect so we need to remember this as well yes so the cost was less that we expected understood right less we less. we can uh, count notes but we cannot count uh, cost we can count dollars yes, you can't, you can't count. we cannot count cost That's we don't say one cost two cost but we can say 1 dollar 2 dollars yeah, one cost two cost would yeah. really be right unfortunate okay so speak to or to speak with right yes speak to means when you tell somebody something that mm -hmm. is when you inform somebody something speak to is like to inform informing Yes. So we spoke to Jane about her daughter's behavior. There has to be apostrophe with daughters. On her daughter's behavior. A daughters or daughters. No. Then there has to be the apostrophe after this. Yes. Yeah, so one saying, daughter. There's one daughter. Yeah. Let me put it here. Then. Yeah. Yes. We spoke to Jane about her daughter's behavior. Yeah. So that means we informed her. Yes. So it is speak to. Mm -hmm. Then uh, speak with is speak when with you discuss things. Speak with is discussions. Yeah. Sara spoke with Jane several weeks ago. Spoke with Jane. So they they met and they discussed. Yeah, they discussed something. something. Okay. So speak to, speak with. I'm quite sure the 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 uh, it is very clear from from slide. I hope so. Let's go to the next thing where we're looking at independent some of some other the common mistakes. Okay. We say independent of. We never say independent from. Okay, the Jewish is independent, independent of, of the other branches of very common. common. This is very common. Please make sure that you memorize this. Yeah, okay. and there's no other way. In contrast to is the word. In contrast of is not word. Yeah. 
Yes, make sure that you don't make these mistakes in contrast to I in didn't. contrast to the conservative attitude of our time. Mom yeah. West was quite Mom provocative. West was quite pro provocative. Okay. Yeah. Identical with is the word, identical to is no word. Please, an another important one. So identical with, whether versus if. Yes. yes. Whether is when you, you use whether when you introduce choice or when you introduce choices and you use if when you introduce a condition. So whether is choice or choices and if is conditional. If is conditional. There's something on if on subjunctive clause as well. Yeah, we'll do that in the later. So we we'll do we'll, some, in some yes, other way. We'll do sub we'll do subjunctive in uh, separately. So if so if students are looking for a if in a subjunct subjunctive manner, mm. we we uh, Nashin has just promised that she'll take that up yes. in another video. Yes. Okay. Perfect. He inquired if we had decided to keep the gift. It is. It incorrect. cannot be because we yes, because we're talking about our choice. Yes. He inquired whether we had decided. To keep the Absolutely. Gift. Absolutely. So right. a, a good example. Yeah. So let's let's just go ahead with this and take. Why the word? It's again. It's really the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Another so example, I guess. No, so it's the would. same example. Okay. So let's let's move on. Let's move on to. It's versus. It's. It's. Okay. There is the. Mis yeah, Let me it's, like it's, it's, it's just it's versus it's. It's versus it's. I yes. think with apostrophe s is the contraction of it is. Absolutely. And it's that is without uh, apostrophe that is the personal, personal possessive, possessive form. Yes. We mentioned this earlier. Yes. Yes. It is the personal possessive form. Also remember one thing that the contractions are non-standard written English. We don't write contraction in standard written English. Contractions? As in this it, yes. So this so the, is a contraction? And it is un, uh, uh, non-standard, that is contractions in, informal. are non-standard. So another thing that... So when you're writing your AWA, yeah, do not write sure the contractions. I have tips so do not use this in your AWA. If you know if you don't know what AWA is, look for other videos. We'll be talking about it. Perfect. So here is an example. It's that is it is. Yes. Too early to determine it's that is possession cause. Oh, wow. It's too early to determine its cause. Where it's as it is and it's as the personal possessive. Yes. Perfect. Now we always talk about uh, you know what to choose between two choices, uh, when to choose between those two choices on GMAT. So we say unnecessary words, redundancy. So this is one of those unnecessary words on account of versus because. So what you're saying is this is more of a, this comes in redundancy, just yeah. to check. Yes, it comes in sentence structure thing also. Also in sentence structure. So let's just take this quickly. Yeah. So it's like on account of, it has three words Yeah. and because is just one word. On account of perfect versus perfect. because. Perfect. So there are three words. So if you have to choose between these two, always go with go because. For, go for the because. Because yes. because is one word, and on account of is three, three words. words for the same thing. And in GMAT, always make sure that the words are less redundant, yes. less or both. Right. Okay. So on account of is poor way way you expel because if it would be based This is the better way of saying the same thing. Perfect. So if you have two answer choices, one is on account of it's, it's been underlined. Right. Look for a because somewhere and see if it fits it. If yes. it fits well with the structure, and go ahead with it. We said this is ninety eight percent of the times you can do it. In okay, so you're saying ninety eight percent of the times you can do this with your yeah, trick. Yes. So okay, I mean I'm quite sure you can go ahead hundred percent of time unless you're actually aiming for eight hundred. Right. Right. I'm quite sure a lot of students here would be aiming for eight hundred as well. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and look at the summary. So we know that idioms are fixed expressions. Yes. There are no rules for idioms. So there is only one way, and Memorize that is to them. learn it. Yes. Yeah. Fixing idiomatic together often involves choosing the right preposition. Right. So that's what you have to learn, and so you throw it idiomatic. So for idioms, a master says learn. There is no other way. Right, Nashin. Yes. Thank you very if much. If you want more idioms, you can check the book also. Okay, so so the list of the complete <coughs> idioms are given in the book. Or perhaps they could actually mail to you. Yeah, they can. Send them. Yes. So, so I just write down your email ID as well. Nasheen. Dot. Although it will be there on the website as well, but still code, gmat. Dot. Anything available on the website? 